Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from LeetCode. It's called find the index of the first occurrence in a string. We're going to jump right into it. So given two strings, needle and haystack, we want to return the index of the first occurrence of needle in haystack or negative one if needle is not part of haystack. Example one, we have haystack being sad but sad and then needle is sad. So the first occurrence of sad happens at index zero, right? From index zero, we see sad over here. So that's what we return. We also see it at index six, but we want to return the very first occurrence. So we output zero. Example two, we have leak code and needle. What we're looking for in our haystack is L-E-E-T-O, which doesn't exist. So we're going to output negative one. And some constraints, haystack and needle consist of only lowercase English characters. Okay, so we want to find the first occurrence of a string in another string. Now, since we are using Python, something we could very easily do is just return haystack dot find needle. So if we were to submit this, it would be accepted. And that's because this handles it for us. It's going to return negative one if we don't find it in haystack. But if we do find needle in haystack, it's just going to return that very first index we see it on. But if you forget that you can use the find function or if you're not using Python, but still just want to know the logic, something you could do is just use two pointers to iterate through both of the strings. For example, over here, we have haystack being sad, but sad and needle being sad. Now for this, we want to be looking for sad within this bigger string sad, but sad. So what we could do is just iterate through both strings, right? With two pointers, say I'm iterating through over here for I and over here for J. As I iterate through I, I also want to iterate through J, just comparing all the characters. If these characters are the same, then I can move down and check the next character. If they're the same, continue moving down. And as I continue moving down, if I finish going through everything in my needle string, then I would return the index that I was originally on where we made those first comparisons. If they're not the same, then we want to reset J to be zero again. And we're going to move I to that next character and continue searching through everything in our string. So how would this look like coded up? First, we want to initialize our pointer. So I is going to equal J, which is going to equal zero. Now, while both I and J are less than their respective strings. So while I is less than length of haystack and J is less than length of needle, what we're going to do is store a temp variable for where I is. This is going to be our starting point. Should we find a match between I and J, right? Because we would be moving these down as we make matches between the characters and we don't want to lose the index where we would want to return if they are the same. And if they're not the same, we still want to store that index because we want to start our new search from the index after that. So start is going to be an I. Now we just want to compare every single character. So while I again is less than length of haystack and J is less than length of needle and the characters at I and J are equal. So haystack of I equals needle at J. So right now in our example, I and J are both initialized to be zero while I is less than haystack and J is less than the length of needle. Both of these are true. Start is going to be I. So start is also zero. And while I is less than length of haystack, J is less than length of needle. It's true. And haystack of I equals needle of J. So haystack at I is S and needle at J is S. This is true. Now we want to see if the next characters are also equal. So we're just going to move I down by one and J down by one as well. So moving them down, this while condition still holds true. We are not out of balance for haystack or for needle. So I and J are both less than the length of their string and haystack at I is A and needle at J is also A. So they are equal, which means we're just going to keep moving down. So now I and J are index two. We go back in this while loop. We see that again, D and D are equal. We move down again. And now we can't go in this while loop because we are no longer less than needle for J. J is now at three and the length of needle is three. We're not less than three, right? Three is not less than three. So we exit this while loop and we want to check where J is. If J equals the length of needle, which it does in this case, we're going to return start that first index where we found our needle in the haystack. So in this case, we return start as we would in this scenario, right? So index zero, would be where we would find needle. If that's not the case, so if we don't exit because J is less than needle, then either we went through the entire string and we couldn't find a match. So I went past haystack or haystack of I is not equal to needle of J and we still didn't find what we're looking for. Now, in that case, if we didn't find what we were looking for, we want to reset. So say in this case, it was S A D E. 
So right now, I would be less than length of haystack, J would be less than the length of needle, it's at index 3, and haystack of I is not equal to needle of J. This is B and this is E, so we exit this while loop and we can't go in this if. So now we still want to continue looking, so we are going to reset I to be start plus 1. So this means I will now be A, and we're going to start looking from the next character onward. And we also want to reset J, so J is going to equal 0. We again want to start off from that first index of J. Now say after making these adjustments, we go back in our while loop, but the reason we had exited this while loop was because we ran out of things to search and we kept looking, but we couldn't find anything. Well, then at this point, we would exit this bigger while loop, and that just means we weren't able to find anything, so we're going to return negative 1. So let's go ahead and submit this, and it is accepted. So talking about space and time complexity, for both of the solutions we had in this one as well, right, where we just did haystack.findNeedle, under the hood here, we would still be going through every single element potentially, and over here, we could potentially be going through everything in haystack and needle as well. So it's going to be O of N if we have N elements in our input. For space, we're only keeping track of a few variables, so this is going to be constant. And that would also apply to the solution over here. It would be constant in space. So we just went ahead and solved find the index of the first occurrence in a string. We did an example walkthrough with example one over here. But if you have any questions with this whatsoever, of course, let me know down below. I'll answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.